Okay, G1, those are not very common. Um, those are government workers and... Oh, J, J, not G, G, okay, J1, okay, so sorry, J1 is for exchange visitors, they're kind of like international students, but the point of the program is for a foreign person to come to the United States, acquire U.S. experience, acquire U.S. cultural knowledge or educational knowledge, and then bring it back to the home country, because you're exchanging knowledge, so um, some J1s, you are allowed to change your status here. Other times, you have to actually go back to your home country for a two-year period. It's called a foreign residence requirement because the program is intended to bring knowledge back to your home country. So the question is, are you subject to this two-year requirement? Um, yes. From China? Are you, you are subject? Yes. Okay, so if you are subject, then you can't change your status here <coughs> to another status unless you have a waiver of the two-year requirement. Yeah, so uh, yes, so there are different types of waivers because, for example, if you would face persecution if you go back to your home country, then you can apply for a waiver that way. If your home country doesn't object to you staying here, you can get a no objection letter. You can stay in that way. Um, if you have a U.S. citizen or green card relative here, like a parent, a spouse, or a child, then you could apply for a hardship waiver. You have to be here to take care of it. So there are different types of waivers available, um, but you have to get the waiver approved to actually change your status or even apply for a green card. Okay. Uh, the easiest one to get is no objection letters because you just ask the foreign government to issue the letter. Um, now, if you received government funding for your J-1 program, sometimes the foreign government will sponsor you. Then they might object to it because they want their money as well. So they want you to come back and acquire those skills. But you would need that, and you can apply for a lot here. Uh, if I want to, would like to study further, if I can get the, I mean, the permit from the government, uh, also I should get that waiver, maybe? Some, okay, some, so a J-1 is for a limited period. So it depends on the kind of J-1 you have. Uh, Short-term scholars or professors, Sometimes you can extend that program. You can stay here for a few years, maybe. So that's something you have to talk to the sponsor and organization about. Can I extend my J-1? And you don't need a waiver to extend it because you're still J-1. You're still subject to that two-year requirement. But, um, and it doesn't make it any harder to get a waiver. You're still J-1, you're still subject. Extend. Right, so you just have to talk to the program to see if they can extend it.